Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of how to implement social authentication in Django. In this part of the video, we are going to take a look at how to get the Google authentication keys so that we can use it in our this Django project to log in and sign up. So before getting started, make sure to watch the part 1 video. I will link it in the i button and as well as in the description. So make sure to watch that first and then come to this video because otherwise you all will not really understand what is going on. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go to the Google and we'll start typing Google console. Okay. So once we have typed that, uh, the console.cloud.google.com, this is the website that we are going to open. And once this is open, if you all have previously created any projects over here, it will be listed here and the latest one will be selected. Otherwise, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, select this and click on create new project. I will call this as, uh, let's say, tutorial Django all auth. Okay. So this is what we are going to name. Click on create and our new project will be created. Okay. So let's just wait. It will take some time to create and it is created. So now we are going to click on select the project. And once that is done, it will be selected over here and you all can see that. Now we'll go. Now uh, where we'll go, we'll go over here, we'll go to APIs and credentials, API services and credentials. Okay. Over here, we are going to create a new credential. So click on this and out of all these, we are going to select OAuth client ID. Okay. So we are going to click on that then. Okay. So we have to click on configure consent screen or consent screen, then it will be external now this is the information that will be shown on the consent screen what if you all don't know what consent screen means whenever you all click on any google signups uh, like google prompt okay so it will show all the details okay so we are going to call it a django uh, let's check what i have named the project as django all dash auth so i'm going to name it same thing django dash all dash auth okay so if we have to provide support email, uh, we will select this one, whichever is available uh, and logo, everything I will ignore. We'll go to developer contact and we are going to, so we'll click on save and continue. Okay. And then it will ask me for scope. Okay. So we are going to add or remove scope and over here we are going to search for login. Let's say, no, it will be profile so user information profile that is what we are going to select and then along with that i also want email okay so user email info so these are the two profiles that we are going to select and click on update once profiles are selected uh, let's click save and continue mm, now we'll click on save and continue and then back to dashboard once consent screen is like then we'll go to credentials again and click on create credential and auth client over here we are going to select web application and over here we can name anything django all auth that is what we are going to name so here we are going to specify two domains okay uh, actually that is just for safety purpose we are going to specify two domains okay http 127 that is your local host address itself dot one zero dot one zero and eight thousand then other one we are going to specify is local host okay local host is to eight thousand these these we are specifying because uh sometimes you may run the project on 127 sometimes you may run the project on local host that's why we are specifying both of them then authorize redirect urls so here i'm going to type down something just blindly copy it okay so 127 dot sorry dot zero dot zero dot one is to eight thousand slash accounts slash google slash login slash callback and then I'm going to copy paste and instead of 127, we are going to put localhost. 
डोंट वरी अबाउट दीज यू आर एल्स दीज आर द फॉल बैक यू आर एल्स एज इन लाइक वंस यूजर गिव्स द कंसेंट टू यूज हीज ई मेल दिस इज वेयर गूगल विल रीडायरेक्ट टू और लाइक दीज विल बी ऑथोराइज डोमेन्स वेयर गूगल विल बी विल रीडायरेक्ट एस टू ओके एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर कोड सो लेट्स क्रिएट एंड आफ्टर दिस वी आर गोइंट टू गेट क्लाइंट आई डी एंड क्लाइंट सीक्रेट यू कैन डाउनलोड द जेसन आई एम गोइंट टू डू इज गो वे रन द टर्मिनल आई होप द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल let me zoom out once and pip env shell i want to run the project so that's why i'm doing this clear and i'm not sure if we had created migrations or not so that's why i'm going to check if migrations are created so python manage.py make migrations and then migrate so our migration is done let's run the project so python manage.py run server I want to go on this website. Actually, let's switch to local host for now. Local host, and we are going to go to admin portal. And over here, we are going to log in. <laughs> uh, we have not created any admin, so let's create an admin. So Python manage dot py create create super user. We are going to name it as admin. Give it some password. Some password. Again, and yes, I'm going to run the server again. So log in, and if you see closely, these are not uh, these three models are not really Django models. So in one of them, we are going to create a new token. So social authentication, social application, is where we are going to create our new token. Okay. uh it doesn't really looks good so i'm going to turn off that provider this is the google provider because since we have specified it in uh the settings dot py that's why it is available over here now the name i'm going to say django auth app okay then it requires client id that we are going to take it from here copy this one paste it then we are going to go to client secret that is what we are going to copy and paste it this key is not really required and example domain will update this one okay so now click on save so our app is created over here and now you all can close this and if you all by mistake have closed it before and want to see the client id and secret id so you all can either copy it from here or click on this name and inside this we are going to get the client id and we are also going to get the client secret so you all can copy that a disclaimer that many of us doesn't really know about this since i have worked with google previously i know uh, these problems so i'm going to let you all know beforehand itself say in future you all want to add another uri over here in authorized redirect or in javascript origins okay you all might have to create another secret and download and use that new secret okay so sometimes we do face problem related to this and it doesn't work with old secrets so this is this was a disclaimer that i wanted to tell you now our this is ready and let me explain what social accounts are whenever a user connects any app new record will be created over here and also in email address then in social application token uh, as the user logs in the tokens will be generated and it will be saved over here next thing is sites okay so sites if you remember in settings dot py we have given site id as well so what does this mean is uh, by default everywhere this site will be used whose id is one and if you go over here this the id of site one sorry this is the site id one and it is example dot com okay so this will be used everywhere but we have to change it okay so we are going to change it to 127 sorry 127.0.0.1 copy and paste it 
i will check this if any changes are required i will let you all know so that's it guys for this video in the next video we are going to take a look at how to log in uh, using google and how to use that in our code and like how to update the templates so make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and see you in the next one